absolutely insane how many different kinds of birds there are uh, chirping around right now. It's another beautiful Saturday morning, and according to my Merlin uh, Bird ID app that I use, there are about nine different varieties of birds going this morning. Um, got a organic weed killer that I'm going to try in the blue crop field that I've been pruning, and a, a new battery for the father-in-law's truck, and a a few other things planned today. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great day, especially with how beautiful it is for the morning. So let's get started. And let's get to it. Expanding on the bird app a little bit more, we're in no way sponsored uh, by the app, but the app once again is called Merlin ID, and you literally set up your phone out, you hit record, and it will identify each bird that is uh, singing or making a, a sound near you that the, the phone can pick up. And then if you have more multiple birds going at once like we do right now, you can literally click on the bird that it identified and then it will play that clip so you can figure out which ones are which. And because of that, we've identified different owls we never knew we had on the farm and various other birds that um, just we had no idea whatsoever were out here. So yeah, once again, free app to use. Um, not endorsed or sponsored by them anyway, but thought you guys would enjoy it. My senses are getting better. I thought I caught movement behind me in the woods back there, and I was correct. I was able to steer, steer. <laughs> I was able to stare down a couple deer. I can't get them on camera, but I totally caught them. I'm absolutely shocked that I was able to see them with how well they blended into the woods. I swear it's going to be like one in the Daytona 500 if I'm going to be able to get this thing started today and actually use it. <laughs> Straight talk real quick. When's the last time you bought a battery? I haven't purchased a battery in probably 10 years. And it was the top of the line, best of the best for my Jeep Wrangler I had at the time. And it was $120 out the door. <clears throat> this, the cheapest one they had in stock for this truck, was $194 out the door. Holy crap, what happened to the price of batteries? <laughs> all right, the battery's all hooked up. Oh, moment of truth. Come on, big money, big money, no whammy. Oh, I got it. It's alive. <laughs> oh, yes. This thing has not been started in quite some time. I'm going to let it run for a little while. I can't imagine the fuel that's been sitting in it since my father-in-law left about four months ago is any good. So I might take it to get some new fuel here in a minute. But yes, it's freaking started. It's almost a little windier than what I would prefer, but we're not spraying Roundup or anything nasty like we have in the past. And it's actually kind of a good feeling. Also, the leaves really aren't out on the blueberry bush yet, and so I have a little more freedom to uh, spray this liberally. So what I'm trying is an organic or all-natural herbicide that I've uh, seen online for a little while now. It is highly acidic, or 45% uh, vinegar, and dish soap. And the dish soap acts as a surfactant, which allows the spray to encase the leaf. And then as the leaf absorbs the vinegar, it sends it down into the root system. It changes the pH of the plant, and it essentially stunts or kills it. And what I'm looking for is, I don't even really care if it kills it, just stunt it. Keep the weeds from growing up into the blueberries and from us needing to spray chemicals on here. I owe my wife a huge thank you because yesterday, or not yesterday, a couple days ago, I was about to cave because we had some Roundup left, and uh, she talked me out of it, and I'm super thankful for that. It has been three plus years now since any kind of chemical or herbicide has been sprayed on this farm, and we're going to keep it that way. 
So I'm going to get as much of this field done as I can today, and uh, hopefully we see some progress on the weeds in the next couple of days. And just like that, I have three rows sprayed with the uh, all-natural weed killer. So a couple takeaways. I wore rubber boots just in case uh, any spray from the wand um, would get onto my feet or on my pants. And then I uh, wore rubber gloves, obviously. And when I poured the uh, vinegar into the uh, backpack sprayer, I had the wind to my back. So that way it would push any fumes away. Uh, just right now, I could tell uh, I either got just a little bit on my hand somewhere or it's just the overall smell from what I sprayed on the leaves, but it's a, it's a very lingering uh, odor of vinegar. But other than that, uh, no complaints here. So let's let this take effect and get on to the next chore. This cleaned up and put in a different spot. Uh, this is remnants of that uh, chestnut tree that we used on uh, the stump grinder on and uh, I thought maybe it would burn. It totally did not want to burn. Feels good to have a truck to be able to help out with this versus a wheelbarrow and uh, sweat. New problem. I have no idea where I want to put all this. I do know that I hate junk piles or mounds of stuff nobody wants that they piled on the back part of the farm for generations. And it slowly goes away, but there's still mounds of junk back there. So I think what I'm going to do is spread this out in a field that I know I'm going to rototill. And uh, hopefully nature will take its course a little quicker than a generation or two to get rid of this. Man, these trees suck. <laughs> I'm gonna get those piled into the truck, get them moved. I'm gonna try putting the butt in. I just feel like that's gonna work better for some reason. Maybe. Slightly regretting it already. If I can get this off with one pull. Oh, all 
little bit too. All right, I'll take that. I'll uh, still take that. I love efficiency. The wind really doesn't collect back here. It's super windy out, but <clears throat> it's calm enough in this field where I felt comfortable spraying one more row. And I really wanted to see what it did with more of the uh, afternoon sunlight on it. A lot of comments I had read on other videos while researching this said that to do this while the sun is strong. So this is the fourth row from the east in the blue crop field, and we'll monitor to see if this uh, behaves or reacts any differently than the first uh, three rows we did this morning. All right, it has been a few hours since I sprayed this first row of blue crop behind me with the natural weed killer and as hard as I'm trying, I can't notice a difference yet. I uh, look forward to seeing what it looks like tomorrow. Uh, but for right now, it's been about roughly eight hours since I've been out here. I have accomplished a ton. And thanks to the father-in-law's uh, truck that we're using as our farm truck for a little while, I, I was able to get a ton more done. I probably saved about two hours total of work. Um, so awesome stuff there. I'm going to prune for a little while before heading out just to chip away at that. And then tomorrow I'm going to be back with the wife and son and we got to do some work on the irrigation system. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So until then, uh, like, share, subscribe, and any kind of feedback would be much appreciated below in the comments. Thank you much.